Hey everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady. I'm here with the Thomas family and we're getting ready for Pi Day. Now, why is it called Pi Day? Well, it is 314, March 14th, which is 3.14 Pi. So we're gonna make some pies. We're doing two pies, two pies. Yeah, you see my daughter back there laughing at us. It's okay, y'all, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be fun. We're making two pies, two different sizes. We'll check in and let you know how it's going. Okay, bye. I am here with Sydney, and we're here to tell you what pies we're making today. Sydney, what pie are you gonna be the team lead on? I'm making a strawberry crumble pie. Okay, sounds good. And I'm going to, I have to look mine up. I found it on the internet. It is a no-bake peanut butter fluff pie. Mm. Okay, we'll check back in in a moment. Everything's done baking, and now we have not two, but three pies. Yes, this little peanut butter one was too big, so we ended up making another one, but I'm not quite sure exactly what happened there. <laughs> but we have three pies. So I'm gonna call this the small one, call this the medium one, and call this the large one, even though it's only a little bit larger than this one. All right, the next thing we have to do is we have to take some measurements. So we're gonna take two measurements. The first measurement is called circumference. Circumference is the distance around the pie. And here's what we're gonna do to take the circumference. So I'm grabbing some string. We're going to use this string to go around the pie. Okay, and I'm gonna get Sydney to help me. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna measure it against a ruler or a measuring tape. And that way we have the circumference, the distance around the outside of the pie. Now, we also wanna take the diameter. The diameter is the distance across, from edge to edge of the pie along the longest route, right? So it's the longest part. And it's gonna be a little hard to take care, you know, to do, so you might need some help from uh, a parent or your child. And so Sydney and I are gonna get, figure this out together. We're gonna write these numbers down and see how it relates to pie. the board now so I have all of my measurements now it was a little sticky I'm not gonna lie but I decided to do my measurements two different ways I started out the smallest one so you saw I had that extra little pie and I decided to do that in centimeters why Because centimeters is pretty easy to round it's a little harder to round in inches so I did a small one a medium one and then this one was just like slightly larger I called it large just to differentiate it and I decided to do that one in inches now remember, we're estimating as best we can and we're rounding our numbers. So let's see how it works out. What we're gonna do to find pi is we're gonna take our circumference and then divide it by our diameter. Okay, so how that works with your calculator is you type in 51.7 and you divide by 17.1. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Give me a moment. Let's see how we did. So I've got three different answers, 3.02, 3.11, 3.16. So you can see they all are around what pi is, which is 3.14. Now, how come they're not exact? Well, first of all, we're, that's to the hundreds, right? Like the hundredths place, 3.14 hundredths. So to say 3.2 hundredths, 3.11 hundredths, 3.16 hundredths, it's actually pretty darn good. 
If your answers are anywhere from around three to a little above three, you're doing great. You're in the actual you know, range of pi. Now again, we're not a supercomputer. If we were, we had like exact measuring skills. Yeah, it would work out to 3.14 and a whole bunch of other numbers, but we got pretty close. I'm pretty proud of us. How'd you do? Okay, I'm dying to find out. So, I, okay, it's your turn now to post your videos into this Facebook post. I wanna see photos, I wanna see videos, I wanna see some eating of pie, which is about to happen right now. Happy Pie Day.